morning. Do we have anybody here? Soup of the day. Soup of the day. All right, let's do this. Are we still alive? Okay, we're running a little bit late this morning. No paper is cut yet, so I've got to cut the paper before I can do the actual sizing here. So. Running a little late. I think I'd better just get a tape of that. Running a little late, running a little late. Okay, as you can see, it's a sizing stream this morning. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing this. I wanted to be downstairs, but uh, the printers, whatever, they just keep churning prints out, churning prints out. So I gotta do this. Uh, today is Monday. Uh, the major construction is now finished downstairs. So I, uh, I showed a couple of photographs on Facebook yesterday. The major construction is finished. Actually, it was finished. What's today? No, it was finished Saturday night. On Sunday night, Aoyama and I were planning. We were going to spend an hour or so fixing the baseboards, then start fitting everything else. The two of us spent the whole day mucking with the baseboards. This is a reform job. Nothing is square, nothing lines up, just whatever, you know the story. So the two of us spent the whole day, wasted the whole day, working on baseboards. But we got it done late last night. He went home and I crashed upstairs. The, the, the shell of the shop is not ready. The floor is in, the roof is in, the ceiling is in, the lights are roughly positioned, the furniture is in. What's left for us to do today, he and I are going to, we're going to put up the panel for the Hunger Club series. We're going to finish the final fitting on the browser bins, getting them against the wall and getting the back panel to, to for the prints to stand on. And we're going to finish the coffee cabinet in the party room. The tatami come this morning. And I think that's it for he and I to do. Uh, yeah, we're going to put a toilet paper holder up. And he and I will then retire tonight with a glass of beer in hand and the staff tomorrow. Tuesday and we'll come in and move the shop from downstairs, from upstairs to downstairs. Anyway, I've got to do a sizing stream here. I don't have paper, so you're going to see me cut the paper. Not that that's very interesting, but let's get organized here. There's three different prints that I have to do paper for. The Henry Manga, we've still got back orders for the Henry Manga print, and Sugusan has to print another 50 sheets of some of those, so I've got to prepare the paper for the Henry Manga. Lei Chen, our young uh, trainee printer from Hong Kong, She's going to do a bunch of the Akatombo print, and I've got to figure out what's the best paper size for this and then get that prepared. And then Ishikawa-san is going to do another run of Mimizuku prints, so uh, I've got to get the paper for that. Let's get organized. I'll need to get my cutting sheet from the other room. Hang on a sec. Back in a moment. Well, this too, this too. This is the, you saw me a week or so ago, last week up here, bonding the wood block for the next print in the, in the next print in the octopus series, obviously. Bonding the color block for the octopus print. The bonding is done, and this morning downstairs on the table saw, I scored it up, because the table saw is disappearing today. The tools are all going back to Omic today. So this is the next step in the block preparation that you saw last week. We're going to run it through our planer here to get a rough surface, to get a rough, uh, the first step stage cleaning, then I'll take my cabinet scraper. So we'll see that maybe. I don't know. We'll see it. We'll see it. Washi TP, yeah, right. It's what they used to use, of course, the upper class people. All the toilet paper was made of washi, agampi type paper, upper class paper, of course. Okay, I need, uh, for, okay, for Henry Manga, we need 12 sheets of Nishikiban cut in half.
stuff is really hard to count because it's all got a selvage on the edge. It's very difficult. Yeah, but I got one too many. It's difficult to put one piece of paper back in the pack. Okay, we've talked about this before. We would love to do the sizing on this in one piece, but we don't have a brush this large. And it'll be still quite a while before we can get that, I think. So the paper gets cut in half. It doubles our workload for sizing. Just because one missing brush, my workload gets doubled. It takes literally twice as long for me to do this. Measure twice, zero, sixty, thirty in the middle, height. Okay, that's the paper for Sugasan for the Henry Manga pages. Now I need paper for Rechan for these. Let's get the calculator out. Paper size 157. You know the sound in the background? Uh, 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 uh. It's my laundry. Just a few millimeters too big, you know. Okay, what we'll do is a choice. When will the Mokahong brushes? Will brush making be far behind? I don't know how far, but it's coming, huh? So it's coming. Okay, how many does she want here? She wants 30 of these, and we're gonna be able to get it. Let's see, it's gonna come from a Obiru Bosho sheet, and that's 600 wide, we're going to get 220 out of it, 600 divided by 157 doesn't work, nay, we would like to get 4 out of it, but I can't, I'm going to get 6, and then extra for the Mimisuku, okay, so it'll be a, a One sixty, one sixty. So three. So we cut this one not in half. It's three twenty, and it'll be two eighty. Two eighty minus one fifty seven. Three, two one one twenty three. Yes, it'll work. Okay, good. Okay, the sheet of paper. Well, I'll give you the paper first, right? How many sheets? She needs six. She wants thirty. So it's going to be five sheets of paper. This is the next size up. The paper we just did is the size, it has various names. It's called Masaban sometimes, it's called Nishikiban. It's the kind of paper that gets, for example, two great waves or two Utamaro prints or whatever. 
basic size of all Hosho paper is this one. Moving up a bit, we have Obiru, large wash. So it's the same kind of paper, just a bit wider and a bit taller. <coughs> it came about in the 20th century because people started wanting prints with margins. They never had margins in the old days. And all the old Itamaru prints, great waves, whatever, were just cut right to the edge of the paper. The 20th century came in those, you know, Shin hunger prints, whatever, people wanted wider margins, but the same basic image size. So the paper makers had to make what they call the Obiru, Obiru Bosho, large, wide Bosho. Same thing, just expanded a few centimeters. I don't know exactly what it is. It's around 600 by 460 working space plus margins. And what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to get her, her red dragonfly out of here. We can get two vertically, but I can't get I can't get so I can get three. Let me just make sure I know what I'm doing here. I need 157. What's 157 times three? Three times seven is one. Fifteen, sixteen, seventy, three, seven. Four seventy-one. Four seventy-one, and that's room for a hunger club. So the, the, she will be able to get three of the hunger club prints out of here. Nimizuku. But that means I can't cut this in half. So I've got to get get one fifty-seven twice. Let's call it one sixty. That means I need 320, leaving the margins. Then there's room for 157. Four. Yes, we're okay to go. So I've got to cut it. Let's call it there on that line. 320, and that leaves 280, which will give me, let's double check, 280 gives me 157, 283, 123. We're okay. We're good to go. I can cut it here. This is going to be troublesome though because just with just a few sheets. I can't stack these on top of each other for sizing because of the difference in sizes. The edge will get all funny there. Well, I can do that together. Okay, I better mark these. Okay, this paper is for an agent. Or thundercloud somewhere. Did you feel the earthquake last night? Big, big, big earthquake last night. Was it last night? Yesterday. There was a big earthquake off the coast of Chiba. Shook our building quite a bit. You know, I was downstairs doing construction. I thought, oh no, not now, not now, just when we're almost finished. It shook, 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 and then it decided it was going to settle down, and down she went. It was magnitude 6, I think. Let me find the link here. Oh, I can't. I've shut my browser. I can't. I think it was about 8 o'clock, 8.30, somewhere on that last night. I don't remember. The gods are waiting now until we get the shot perfect finished, then we're going to destroy it. <laughs> Am I an optimist or a pessimist? Okay, let's get this out of the way and get sizing. I'm sorry. Yoisho.
storm. No, there's a storm. Oh, I don't see my newspaper, so I didn't see that storm in Hiroshima. What is it, 50 people missing or something? That's not typhoon. That was just heavy, 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 heavy rain. This is a mountainous country, and you just can't escape it. You've got to build houses near mountains. And this wasn't people building houses in a stupid place. This was in a, a heavily forested mountainside. There's been no clear cutting to cause rain, you know, sweeping down the mountain. This is just what you get when you live in a country that 90% that, that of it is 45 degrees or more, you know. It's insane, some people. Oh, boy. There's really no way around that. I think it's 30 bodies already and 50 missing or something like this. I didn't see the count this morning. Why do we live here? Nay, well, you know why we live here, of course. Okay. Here we go. We've got backboards here that match. Step one, non-skid. Over the last few days while we've been working downstairs, I've been enjoying, enjoying the new, no Wi-Fi system downstairs. Did you see those two pictures I put up yesterday on, on, the, uh, on the Facebook page? Maybe somebody could link to them. There's two images I put up, one of my little carving area and one of the left hand of, of the shop there. And what you, there's one I meant to mention, on, on, the, sh on the photograph that shows the uh, sales counter, so there's a white line on the floor and there's a power line running into the sales counter. And somebody wrote me an email, Dave, I can't believe you went to all that trouble to make such a beautiful shop and you ran an extension cord to the counter. No, 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 no. Under the floor, the power is under the floor, the optical fiber is under the floor, the internet's under the floor, it all comes up underneath that counter. But that's not all connected at the other end yet. So in order to put the LED strips on, I had to just run a temporary extension cord. So no, we wouldn't do that. My God, I wouldn't do that. I, I, I'd die before I did that. But that was just, I put the extension cord in so I could just take that picture. The red lamp is there. The red lamp is now illuminated. That happened this morning about 6.30. I got some more parts from the electrical shop yesterday. The lantern is now illuminated in my corner. A red lamp in a red light district. Come to Mokohanka. It really shouldn't be there, you know. Those red lanterns are for drinking establishments. And when we went to order the one from the guy, he's a lantern maker, literally. He, he makes the lanterns and does the calligraphy. Actually, we ordered it from the calligrapher, who then orders it from the lantern maker. It's a, it's a cascade of different craftsmen. The lantern maker probably orders the bamboo strips from somebody else. We have no idea. And when we ordered it from him, you know, we chatted with the guy, and, you know, he, we wanted a red lantern with, with the white and black lettering. He said, oh, we go, you're opening a bar? And we're like, no, it's just a shop. He says, you, you want a red lantern? I said, you know, you don't sweat it. I'm a foreigner. Don't ask. It's okay. <laughs> like, fly with this. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we did. We ordered a red lantern. So. Yeah, I need a turban, right, to tell fortunes? No, thanks. Okay, okay, Dave, do some work. I'm a bit sunked, you know, last night, every night. What's left of a daily schedule for me is just, is, just doesn't exist anymore. So. Also, there was a very interesting sizing event. When was this? Today's Monday. It must have been Friday morning. We didn't stream it. It was just, just it was fr Friday afternoon, actually, near noon. I did some sizing up here, not by myself. You saw earlier a sizing stream with our young printer, Shiba-san, who is making her original prints. That's fine. She, she did a really good job of it. And from now on, she'll probably be sizing the paper herself for her own prints. They do some work. Eh? So. But yes, uh, the, the stream Thursday, it's our young, I can't call her an apprentice. There's a young girl working here from Hong Kong. She's on a, a working... What do you call it? Working visa? No. Uh, it's not a student visa. It's a working holiday visa from Hong Kong. And she's studying printmaking. Day Chan. You've seen her, I think, in a couple of times. She passes by in the downstairs. Anyway, she did the sizing on Thursday for her next batch of paper. And she did a good job. 
you know, I, I, she watched me first do four or five or six sheets, and then she did hers, and she did a good job. And crap, she's skinnier and wiry and less muscular than me. All right, here we go. My brush is softened up. Last double check, there's two liters I put in, right? I did put in two liters. How much sizing I put in, I remember measuring exactly. It was 110 grams. So we're at 55 grams per liter of water. Then the alum should be 15% of that, so I put in 16 grams of alum. Boiled it all up and away we go. I think I'm ready to go. Paper is ready, dose is ready. Let's go. She's indeed skinnier than me, much skinnier than me. One of these people, you find it hard how they can move down the street because it's just bones with this. She can print, you know, she prints like a stone. Ninja stance, no, I don't do that, I don't do that. Shiba-san wants the ninja stance, it's not my style. I don't have the strength in the upper arm. For those, for those of you who don't know what she's talking about, Shiba-san did it the other day, she stood like this solidly and then with her arm, bang, did the sizing. And she's got a bicep for it, I don't. So you watch, I do this with my body. So she did it with her arm, I do it with my body. Cross and stop, hide. I got to work out, right? I need to develop muscles at this stage of life. I need to work out for general body health, but not for anything muscular at this stage. I'm getting drips here, why? Why is it dripping? Oops.
still get to swim in the morning, so I haven't done that for like 15 years. I got to get in. We chat about it before, you know. The problem is, is the, the pool here opens at 7 o'clock, just down the street. It's morning fitness time. We can't go in the evening. It's way, 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 way too crowded. But in the morning, it's not so crowded. They open at 7. And can I get down there, have a swim and sit 7 and get back here in time for a stream? It looks possible on paper, but adding one more half an hour event to my schedule every day, I don't know if that's actually really possible in practice. It's on the, uh, on the, on the plan. Oh, oh, the bell is ringing. Oh, I've got to hang my laundry. Stinky hot weather, and if I don't get this hung up straight away, you know what happens to laundry in the bar in the bed. So this is it. Let's try and get both things going here. Special exotic stream from Japan: Japanese traditional printmaking and laundry. So now you know, boxers. <laughs> like everybody cares. That's the sum total of my laundry every second day. Two shirts and two shorts. Tomorrow's a laundry day off, then the next day, two shirts and two shorts. <laughs> That's my entire wardrobe. Now you're probably watching. If you know what day of the week it is, you can see what shirt Dave's going to be wearing. It's not a can of pears. This is the last half of my breakfast. It's been the morning. Excuse me. There'll be enough time for food and drink when we're done on Wednesday. Wednesday, Tuesday, whatever day.
coming out nicely, you know, in the hot weather like this, it's much, much, much easier. The paper is soft. The size just blows out, smooth streams out into the paper. It's so much easier than in winter. You just feel everything's just so soft. Print party were sold out on Wednesday, I think, and every day now. Uh, from about two or three days before, every day is sold out. We've been that way now for, I don't even know, back since the spring. It's been well over, well over 95% sold out, the print parties. If it isn't all gone by the day before, that morning, people sit in their hotel, whatever, they look for something to do, and they find the parties. So. And this is before we even opened downstairs. We're sold out, so I don't know what to think now. We're, one idea is we're going to think about keeping the second floor print party room ready. And we're moving downstairs tomorrow, but we won't deconstruct the upstairs print party room. We'll just leave it as it is. We thought about this a while ago. Instead of moving the physical bench downstairs, we just prepared a new bench downstairs. So for the moment, the old print party room is just going to stay as it is. I sleep on the floor there. And if we can get staff, if we can figure out how to get more people trained, then starting next spring, we would just run double print parties. We have two rooms, A room and B room upstairs. But it's a question of staff, staff. Employee drinking party. No, I can't get them to come on off days. I know. Tokyo is a difficult place to get together in, you know. There's no way to get all the employees together. For They really don't want to do it. Teiko-san, for example, she comes to work. She's over two hours on the train. Shiba-san comes to work. She's two and a half hours on the train. They do this on their working days. But they say, hey, we'll just get together Wednesday night. It's two freaking hours to get here and then two hours to go home. Just to have dinner together and have a drink and say congratulations on the new shop. They don't want to do this, of course. Tokyo is a difficult place to have casual get-togethers. It just doesn't work because of the vast distances and expensive train fares. Almost none of them live close by. It's a burden to travel like that here in Tokyo. So I can't have a little Wednesday evening party. We've got it. We're up and running. Thank you very much. Four hours round trip to work, surprised they still, this is life in Tokyo. You can't afford to live downtown. And it's like the San Francisco thing, right? You know, the rich people are gonna live near where they work. The people who serve them have to get on a bus and go for hours and hours. Tokyo has been like this for decades. San Francisco is just learning about it now. This is why employers pay all the transportation costs. When Shibasan comes here to work, it's like I said, it's over two hours. And it's like each way, it's about 1,400 yen one way. So twice 2,800 yen, which is about 30 bucks, 20, $28, $30. I pay that. There's no way the employee can pay their own transportation. So employers here pay all employee commutation costs, commuting costs. It's part of the culture. So my wage bill goes up, whatever, like 20% every month just to pay their transportation fees. And the train comes, I say they make out like a bandit, whatever, they, they, their costs are high, of course, electricity and running trains and doing what they do. So I think they charge probably reasonable prices, but my God, it's expensive. The 
It's not, you know, I pay it, but it's not me as being a good guy that's doing it. Everybody does it. It's the culture. Employers pay transportation costs for the employees, period. That's the way it's done. It's not something I've chosen to do. This is one of the main driving reasons for us building this Asakusa shop, because when I was living in Ome, these people were coming out to my house in Ome for training as printers, and my god, every one of them, every day, 30 bucks. So my expense was staggering. I was paying like five of them, 30 bucks a day. So we decided, hell, hell with that, we'll rent a cheap place in Tokyo. And the same money that I was using to pay their trains, that would cover our rent for a basic place in Tokyo. That was the rationale before behind starting this shop back in 2014. To try and minimize employee transportation costs. Because <coughs> <coughs> they have monthly tickets. This is a hurt this one really hurts us hard. If all of the people here were salary men, if they were coming five days a week, bang, 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 you buy a monthly ticket and it's way cheaper, like 25, 30, 35% cheaper. We can't get that because Shiba-san comes once a week, Teiko-san comes twice a week, this person comes three times a week, whatever. So we don't have enough travel from any individual person to get the monthly discount, except one person, you know who. And of course, for him, we get a monthly train ticket. But the rest, no. So I'm paying full retail price for all the employee transportation except camera. Can't help it. There's just no way around it. Drive a car, yeah, right. Impossible, impossible. It's, it's no big difference. So Cameron and Koizumi-san this morning, they are driving out to my Ome home today. We're moving all the heavy tools that we've been using downstairs for the construction. So they've rented a truck this morning, and they're going to drive out to Ome, to my home. And it's going to take them about two hours. It's no faster than the train, you know, because the trains just go through. Bang, 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 no traffic lights. Cars have traffic lights and traffic jams. So driving would be no time advantage over the train, and my god, expensive parking. And then you actually have to do it, you have to sit there and drive, of course, still. We're not into that new area yet. We're a bit tight for space because of my new. The new interface for the computer is push the computer down to the left. <sighs> okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Side. Sometimes eight forty two. Crap. You guys still here? Yeah, getting uh, almost done packing all the, the garbage. Is Aoyama still here? Yeah, yeah, he's been pointing out. All right. Okay.
So what's the deal? Koizumi sounds navigating, you're driving? Yeah, fortunately it came with, it's got a GPS system built in. So of course. Some of the, 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 yeah. the cars, the last one mm -hmm. I took with Koizumi. Okay. So what's you're gonna take the Anokoso Godoro. Mm -hmm. It's the fastest way for sure. Yeah. Fast, especially at this time of day, you're you're against traffic flow. Oh yeah. So you get cash for the fee, you have to use cash for the, the right. Yeah, I'm sure they were almost done. No, don't want it to come say, I'm going to get going, just get going, just get going, just get going. We have a ton of things to do. They better fill the truck with the stuff from downstairs. It's a, a few things. The final construction waste has to go out to a specialist on a recycle center today. Then they're going to take the tools back to Ome. They've got to get the tools down into the basement at Ome, which is going to be a job for the two of them. They're not, they're not particularly, uh, whatever. I'm half expecting to hear later on that they drop the tools down the stairs or something. Weird. Then I've got to get back by here, and Cameron's got his own self-imposed deadline of whatever to get home by. Be careful, be careful, be careful. It's starting to walk on the mirror. Go back. When Dave took on his first employee, <laughs> it was a disaster. It was a disaster. Whatever, it's a long story. If you go to the, uh, <clears throat> I don't know where it's linked, if you Google up the phrase Hail Mary and do the website, look for it in the mokohankan.com slash conversations. Look for the phrase Hail Mary. Well, let, me, let me try and find it because it's fun. There's a fun story there in a two-part blog post. This is fun. Here we are. There's two, there's two, I don't know. Well, if I just link it from Google, it'll be a bizarre link. I think it's part one here, I think. Uh, 
and I know the style sheet is broken on this because of the switch to an HTTPS system so you're going to get it without a style sheet but I'll fix it later when I get time but that's kind of the story there about how yeah there's no style sheet picking up I'm sorry about that it's an old web page but uh, the content is there doesn't matter Oh no, I missed it. Part two. I'm sorry, I got it wrong. Okay. Oops, 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 oops. Okay. What I sent you that was part one and part three. This is part two. Sorry. You got them in the wrong order there. Did I size this one or not? No. Trucks backing up outside. I wonder if it's our guys. I don't know. That's the backup beep on on two trucks. I'm just simultaneously beeping. What day is it? Monday. I don't know. You can hear where it's going, right? There's a guy standing behind him. He's saying, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Keep going, keep going. Why they do that in English, I don't know. All right, all right, all right, stop. It's a big truck, heavy tailgate down. I don't know what's happening. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
あ今かけてる天気の感とかあのあの大きなナチのあのあはいはいあのジョニーパッドね、うん、あれは一つのパンにまとめてオッケーはいカノしてますオッケーはい<笑>起こしてるもんないかな後で覚えてます<笑>ごめん Hey, say hello. I'm streaming this. Oh, I'm son. The man who built the new shop. You saw the pictures yesterday. It's his job. It's his job. Blame him. Blame him. Blame him. Can you see the picture? Yeah. So, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah. 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 ああ、そうか。あのトイレの下のシートをどうするここに置いて使うときあるです。持っていくかあのもし二階のもの同じ色があれば、ちゃんとこれからトイレのカーペット、トイレのシート。これ今今タイルタイルカーペット。タイルカーペット。二階の真ん中のもの。それここに置いておいた方がベストです、ね。そうです、ね。これから二階のリフォーム。でトイレの下のやつも向こうも聞いても使うことないね。ここ。そこまで考えてないですね。け結構待ってる。今トイレのチャウといえば一回のトイレって言ったんですか。はい、じゃあ多め持ってきましょうかな。ここはちょっとだんだん厳しくなりますから、多めに預かったらいつか使い方が考えれば持ってくることができます、ねはい。カーペットは置いといて、トイレのタイルはあ。だから今のカーペット、フローリングは2階のタイルを使うかもしれない。じゃあもう出発しようと思うけど、デビさん何か確認する大丈夫。ネクソンはい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。Is sake an old man's drink in Japan? No, 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 no. All classes, all genres, all ages. When you see a drunk old guy lying on the street, yeah, he quite often has a sake bottle with him, but it doesn't mean sake equates as、uh, so、an old man, an old drunk's drink. Just around the corner here, there's a sake bar with sake from all over the country. People go in there and take a nibble of different sake from all over the place. The analogy will be closer to wine than anything else, you know. Connoisseurs here are really big on the kind of sake they drink and when it was made and where it was made and how fresh it is and how many years it's been in the bottle. It can be very much a connoisseur's drink or it can be the old drunk on the street's drink. It works both ways. I'm not a sake drinker, it's too strong for me. Just a tiny bit, and that's it. I'm already dizzy, so forget it for me.
mild beer is my is my choice. I just don't have the body the, the body mass to handle a bunch of alcohol in my system. We were talking about the Japanese language. We were talking about froding and kapeto. Those are terms that didn't exist in the native language until Western architecture came along. So, of course, they brought the Western words with them. It's like baseball. <clears throat> there are Japanese words for native Japanese objects, and there are no native Japanese words for imported objects, of course. You can feel there's two sheets. Now. Baseball has a Japanese name. They made up one, Yakyu. <coughs> Field sport, kind of Yakyu. We have to be careful about the back engine. It's trying to expand. It's a warm day in this water. The paper's trying to expand. If I'm not careful, it ends up causing creases as each page, as each sheet tries to expand. What got me interested in streaming on Twitch? I don't remember just as I learned about it. Did they, I must have seen some media comments about it, some stories or something, looked it up, thought, what is this? People are doing what? And decided to try it.
Japanese sports, the thing you like about Twitch is it being live. <clears throat> it's the feedback, absolutely, the feedback. If there were no comments, if there was no comment stream, this would be no fun at all. You're sitting here talking into the, into, the, into the ether, just doing nothing. I wouldn't be doing this. The fact that there's a comment stream and that there's people, I don't need you to come back every day, but the fact that there's regular people who I recognize and who chat and say things and ask sometimes sensible questions. It's not like I'm isolated here and I need, desperately need a community or something. I'm, my life is full of activity and surrounded by people all day long. Ow! I didn't quite touch it enough to hold it. Let's try and get it. Yoosh. Should be okay. You have to be careful with this little community thing. I know, whatever, don't take wrong what I'm about to say. But it's sometimes possible to put a bit too much... What's the word I'm looking for? For example, the same, whatever, five or six people come back here every day, whatever, I feel, okay, I gotta be here, gotta do this. But why, why should I be actually bothered about what five particular random people around the internet sitting in their room, should that bother me? Should that direct my life or direct my work? Of course not, you know, I have to keep remembering. This is one part of what we do, it's a nice interaction. But I have to be careful not to let this become the driver. What we do is our own mission, our own printmaking, our own world, and five or six random people on the internet shouldn't be driving, driving this, uh, driving this venture. And yet you tend to do this. Again, please don't misunderstand. I'm not trying to shoot at anybody like that. You now, is it five billion people here? We've got our idea about what we want to do with the world. And yet a very, very small group of people can be very influential in guiding a group like this, because simply you're the you're the ones who are bothering to take the time and put the points and put the comments in. So it's an, I don't know about regular Twitch channels with millions of viewers, but a Twitch channel like this with a few hundred viewers or whatever, the people who do take the trouble to make comments and say things that guide our activities have a hugely influential, over and above their numbers, they're hugely influential. And I didn't, didn't, didn't explain this very well, but I'm sorry, I know. I think you try and get what I mean, you know. You can find yourself sometimes thinking, oh my God, what am I going to do tomorrow for Twitch? What am I going to do tomorrow for Twitch? And the rational part of me should say, Dave, don't worry about those half a dozen people who want to watch you tomorrow. Just get busy and do, quote, more important work. There's a balance to this. And it's really, really easy to get sucked into this and to make sure you take care of these few dozen people and ignore something that might be more important. It sounds like I'm insulting you guys, I'm sorry, but, but it, is, it is part of the thing, you know. It also, that, that same point, emphasis how influential a small group of people can be. You actually have a, an outsized influence on our direction, on the things we do and the way we think, just by virtue of being there. It's kind of, <clears throat> it's as though this Twitch group becomes sort of a, a council, a, a guiding... You know what I mean? Like a board of directors or something like that that looks at the management and says, hey, management, you should be doing this, you should be doing this, you know. I'm still learning about this. I'm learning how to react to this and I'm learning how to pay, make this part of our activities. And Well, you say we're just guests, but that's not true, because you are, by, by virtue of what you're doing, being regular visitors, regular commentators, regular part of what happens here, you're more than guests. There's a, there's a different dynamic at work here. As I said, if there were a million of you, I would ignore you. I can't deal with a million people. <laughs> I think this is something that if the academics, they're probably already doing this. They should be studying this because there's a very interesting set of dynamics that are at work now that didn't happen before, I think.
Okay, now those of you who've seen this before, you know where we're at. The first batch of paper's been done front and back. If I only had one dimension of paper today, that would be it. But I've got another dimension, which I have to do. So this one now gets covered. It's got to sit for, oh, it doesn't need too long. It's a very warm day. That liquid is really well dispersed. Whatever, 15, 20 minutes or so should probably be enough. It's got to sit before I hang it. I saw this, I noticed this, I put it down when I went downstairs to get the paper. Okay, we're going to do the next batch here. What's the time? 9.08. Okay, because I'm here by myself today, I have no way to move the camera to the next room. So you're not going to see the hanging work today. The paper I just did. I'll hang it by myself after the stream. What I've got left to do now then is this last batch, the larger of the size. What have I got? One, two, three, four, five. Five sheets, both sides, and that'll finish off the stream here today. I'll need a larger brush. Soak it up. This goes in hot water. Hi. Now, while I'm waiting for the brush to soak, time to read this magazine. It came yesterday. What's the best camera to show you? It's uh, it's got the world's most god awful darkest gloomiest picture. It's it's one of these things Japanese from one side, Western from another side. Look at that. How's that for a perfectly wonderful magazine picture? You get what it is? Black. It's an amateur affair. Anyway, the magazine is called Via, and I thought it was dead years and years and years ago. This is the magazine that goes in airport limousines. Most people these days, when they go from the airport to come into central Tokyo, they just jump on a train. There's the Skyliner, there's the Keisei, there's the uh, Narita Express. It's all different kinds of trains now. They go straight to the airport. But in my day, when we first came to China, it was buses, buses, buses. There were no trains that went into the actual airport terminal itself. Bus was the way to go. And it turns out that it's still going on. It was an airport limousine service. They have a seat back magazine. And what stories have we got here? It's going it's to shine. What stories do we have here? Uh, Japan scenes a sizzling Japanese summer. Yes, that's what we need. Glass wind chime sounds good. It's I love. Ooh, what's this? I love Japan. David Bowie. Who knows? Let's have a look and see what's inside. Sensoji Temple. Getting close. Oh, Marina. Isu Marina. Here we are. Look at this. Two of my ladies. <laughs> They came for an interview, I don't know how long ago, it's a few weeks ago, I've basically forgotten about it. The girl did, uh, the young woman did a print party, she talked about the heroes, 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 took some photographs. She went upstairs, chatted with the ladies, there's, there's the man himself, Cameron, that's the chan the young girl I'm talking about, sizing, and then Sugisan, our printer. And I don't know if this is online, um, I have no idea, you guys can tell me, the magazine is called Via. It's the summer issue, July, September 2018. And whether they have a website or not, I don't know. Can you find it before I find it? I'm looking for a website address here. Well, there's something there. Is that it? Can you see it? Is that the web address of the magazine? Can you read it or not? Five, four. Three, two, one. That might just be for advertising information. I don't know. Anyway, there you are. Oh, that might be the Western or Japanese side. Hang on a sec. I do not see any mention of a web page. It's up to you. Just got published, probably not for the first time. <laughs> now we've been there um, once or twice before over the past few years. So.
You're all quiet. You're all searching for a website. <laughs> That's a way to get you guys to shut up. Give you something to do. Everybody on the stream turns off the stream and quickly goes hunting for something, trying to be the first back with a web address. <laughs> Someone's got something there. Tree, tree media or free media? Tree media linking past to present. Am I going to stream a bit of the opening day party on Wednesday from downstairs? I don't know. It's going to be a crazy busy day down there. I'm still not sure whether it's going to be microwave or not. I'm still testing the microwave blocks. I haven't had time to prepare new brushes, to prepare the blocks with the lines. It's all going to be chaos. So I really, please don't expect any stream anything other than the normal Wednesday stream. My current thought is Wednesday morning, if the, if the moving goes well on Tuesday, if I can play in that block that I just showed you, the current thought is that if I get this block planed flat and dressed, then Wednesday morning stream will be the first carving on the color block for the octopus print. That's my current thought on this. I don't think I can stream print party. It's going to be really difficult for us to get those parties up and running in a new environment, a new lighting, new stuff, new everything. So please don't expect a print party stream just yet. I'm sorry. I'll do it. I know you're interested and I'll do it, but just opening day is just not going to be within what we can handle. I'm sorry. So this is Monday, there's no stream tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow for, for a bunch of different reasons. The Wednesday morning stream, hopefully will be a peaceful, normal working stream for me, but from my new environment down on the first floor. Or not, depending on how things go. I'm sorry, I just don't know. Good. No, no, I know there's no bad feeling in the question, but uh, no, you know, I'm just not sure how much I can handle right now. So. If we had media staff here, you know, to do all this stuff, and I would just step up to the plate, that's fine, but media staff is me.
a newbie questions, don't worry, oh, whatever. Nobody knows what's going on. You don't know what's happening until you ask questions. Don't sweat it. Thing about the first floor being crowded and stuff, you know, we have no idea. I've talk, talked about this before, you know, our second floor now gets so crowded sometimes people can't get in. The last few days it's been like that a few times. It's so crowded. Other people come up the stairs, look in the window and just give up. They can't, they can't come in. So the first floor is wider. Yes, more people will be able to come in. Whether this is good for us or bad for us, I don't know. The staff is terrified that what's going to happen is we get a different kind of person now. Up to now, the people who come into our shop, they basically know who we are, what we do. They've seen the YouTube videos or something. They're known. So they come up and they chat about stuff. And because they know us and they've come for a specific reason, a fairly large percent end up, you know, purchasing a print or something. But what we found is after we were on a Japanese TV show, over the next few days after we've been on a TV show, a bunch of Japanese people come in who hadn't known about us. They've seen us on the TV show. They come in and they love to talk. They ask questions and the staff spends a half an hour or an hour or whatever with them. And then they say thank you and they turn around and walk out. And it's okay. We don't expect everybody to buy something. That's okay. If you're dropping in the shop, you don't buy anything. That's okay. We don't mind. So it's not good morning. But if everybody does that, we're in trouble. Come and say hello. What's the t-shirt? The Adventure Awaits. <laughs> What's your t-shirt message? で、僕じゃない。あの人たちにレスタートしたんですよ。ちょっと。さあ、今車はどこかな今。どこだろうね、わかんないな。で、10 彼にでもしっと方が。ああ、This is the back side, right? So, this is the back side. Okay, I think, actually, I'm done now. I'm not done, I gotta hang it up. But I think that's all I can do for you at the moment. They've just discovered that Cameron forgot to take all the wood blocks. So now we keep wood blocks in Ome. Our main storage for wood blocks is Ome. Over the past year, we did a subscription series, the Yokai series, and we did the carving and cutting here, did the printing here, and the blocks have been just building up here. So the blocks all need to go back to Ome. If we send them by a shipping company, it's like 10 bucks a set. So yesterday, Cameron and Sugisan together got all the blocks ready and stacked them up here, ready to go. They're still sitting here. 
camera came up and down, up and down, up and down, talked to you, left, and forgot the blocks. So she's going to try and catch him now on the phone to see if they haven't got too far. Get back here, pick him up, and away they go. I can't blame him because whatever. I should have known about it too, so whatever. All right, where are we here on the stream? Okay, I've got to wait for this paper to, to settle for a few minutes. Then hang up the other paper. And as I said, I can't do that on the stream because I have to move the camera to the other room. So we are going to call it a day here. And this is it. This is, it's not the last stream from the third floor. I'll be doing sizing, whatever, sometime in the future. But there will be no more streams from the second floor, I guess. Tomorrow is Tuesday. It's our moving day. There will be no stream tomorrow. Then Wednesday morning, there will be a stream from downstairs for my new space. We got good internet down there. We're wired directly into an optical fiber. The stream should be strong and stable. I'll either be carving that block if I can get the block ready, or if not, I'll just whatever do a short stream introduction introducing you to this to the shop and then and then going to sleep or something. So I'll see you Wednesday morning, same time, same station, the 48 hours time from now. Thanks for the support guys. We've done what we can do. I'll see you in a couple of days. I'll try I'll read what I've missed from this later on after we're finished. Thanks again. Catch you soon. Signing off now. Bye-bye.